One of the fundamental reasons Community Hopkinton has successfully navigated the stressful 12 months living under COVID-19 is the community's distinguished collective learning efforts over the past years, which include amongst many meritorious achievements. I'm sorry about that. Making the necessary smart investments that have made Hopkinton a four and a half billion dollar community, the number one public school system in the Commonwealth, and the safest small town in the USA. That planning was achieved through collaboration. At the town of Hopkinton All Hands meeting, leaders from different departments discussed their vision, goals, and budget ask for the next year. John Wartman, the best-selling author of Mastering Communication at Work, an executive coach and trainer to cities and towns across New England is our facilitator tonight. Because one of the problems in municipal life is that we create goals that are too big to actually achieve in any year. And so each of these leaders worked really hard to say these are the three most important things, particularly during this odd time. Each of them will present after Norman does, and then we'll take a break somewhere around the top of the hour, and then we'll come back and have time to ask questions. Um, in that question time, you can put them in the Q&A if you'd like me to ask them for you, or you can put your hand up and then I will call on you either because you put it up literally or because you use the functions in Zoom. Again, we're going to go over each person's vision as well as their big three goals and then the ask that they have put in the budget list that you're going to be prioritizing for us at the end of the night. So if you want to keep track at home like a scorecard in baseball, you can already be putting these in rank order as you listen to people present, again, their vision their goals, and their important projects. Town manager Norman Kamalu was the first to present. Simply stated, number one, as we're doing tonight, develop a clear, repeatable strategic planning process for the town. Number two. Facilitate the aspirations and processes of the renewed finance team. Given that Hawkington is a growing community and that we are facing a structural budget deficit, this is important for me in terms, of pre, pre, uh, in terms of preserving and supporting the town's physical health. And number three. Support employee happiness. We have a great team here at Town Hall. We very talented, very smart individuals. We need to keep them here in Hopkinton. So what is your budget ask to be able to provide better strategic planning, intentional work with the finance team, and then employee engagement and happiness? All comes down to training and wellness, and the budget ask is $70,000. And again, each leader is going to do what Norman just did, vision, goals, budget ask, and you want to be thinking about at home, which are the priorities for you if you were going to rank them according to what you care about or your committee cares about most. Which brings us to Chief Slayman. Tell us what your big vision is, and I will just let you talk for the next three minutes. Community risk reduction as a mission, public safety facility as a collaboration, and succession planning, my champions. A major concentration for school superintendent Dr. Carol Cavanaugh was housing the growing school community. Um, our goals to establish a facility study group to analyze facilities development needs alongside student growth proje projections and programming needs and expansion, to monitor our Elmwood statement of interest with the M MSBA, and to plan for major building construction projects, which may mean the reconfiguration of buildings and grade levels for grades two to 12. While we would not be thinking right now about doing any updates to pre-K to two. We have a brand spanking new state-of-the-art facility early learning center. It's amazing. It's not the kind of facility that you can transform into some kind of elementary school, but our kids transition every two years. They go to a two, three school, a four or five school, a middle school and a high school. Those transitions are not only somewhat unnatural, but the other piece is that a principal just gets to know them as learners, teachers just, and then they move on to another building. Yeah. Essentially in our elementary schools, 50% of the population changes every year. Not really a great model. Um, so while we have the opportunity to reconfigure our buildings, I think we need to take advantage of that. So in terms of our um, project and budgeting, we will need to hire consultants, engage in engineering and design, 
and engage in construction projects, you will be happy to hear this number. 157 million is where we landed. I know when we filled in the spreadsheet, we were at 200 million, but we have just saved this body $43 million in the course of an afternoon. Uh, my goals simply stated are uh, to advance the progress of our strategic plan with special attention to three of those goals that we've identified, support the public sa safety facility group uh, that, that have been working tirelessly uh, moving that, prog that program forward, and to exceed all expectations of the police reform bill. Any budget asks? I'm looking to expand the police department by one position. It's $58,000 and that would be in my operational budget, but also recognize that there's another 11,000 estimated uh, cost to benefits. You can see the full all hands-on meeting at our YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV.